What's up guys? Today we're going to be checking out the O-Ray HDA 939 4K scaler with audio downmixing and EARC. So shout out to the guys at O-Ray for sending this over for us to review. So let's go over a few tech specs on what this thing does. This is a 4K HDMI scaler with audio downmixing and EARC. So what this will do is it'll extract the audio from any HDMI source, send the video over to your display, and then extract the audio, which you can send over to a soundbar or a pair of powered speakers or an AVR or processor. This is HDMI 2.0 compliant with HDCP 2.2. The HDMI will support resolutions up to 4K at 60 Hertz at 444. It supports HDR, HLG, and Dolby Vision. It has two HDMI outputs, one for video and one for audio, both at the same time. HDMI 1 supports 4K downscale to 1080p. HDMI output 2 is the audio output, which will downmix anything from Dolby Atmos down to two-channel stereo with support for 24-bit 192K. As mentioned earlier, this does support ARC and EARC. It has EDID management and audio outputs can be controlled through API commands. Let's open up the box and see what is included inside. Here we have the device itself. We also get the power adapter, which has a locking ring, your free extended warranty card, some mounting hardware, and a pin connector. So on the front of the unit, we get some little LED displays for power, HDMI input, output indicators, signal format indicators for PCM, Dolby, DTS, and DTS HD, HDMI input, ARC, EARC, and then the selection button. Swinging it around back, we get your HDMI input, two HDMI outputs. HDMI one is for video, the second one is for audio. Optical output, coax output, left and right analog outputs, your dip switch settings, RS-232, and then your power inlet. On the bottom are your dip switch settings for supported formats, which are located here. If all the dip switches are set to off, you will have to use API commands to control the device. It's got very nice build quality, so let's go ahead and get this thing set up and see what it can do. All right, so what I have going on here is the Apple TV hooked up to my LG monitor. It's an ultra wide monitor that is just a monitor. There are no speakers built into the monitor itself. So I'm going from the Apple TV into the O-Ray HDA 939 and I have the audio output from HDMI 2 going into my Durant Cinema 50 AVR. And I have the HDMI output 1 going into the LG monitor. So what the O-Ray is gonna do is extract the audio from the Apple TV, send it over to the AVR, and then send the video over to the display. This way I can still get 4K resolution on my monitor, but still get Dolby Atmos into my AVR. Now, if you jump into the audio video settings on the Apple TV, you can see that this only supports 4K SDR. And then over into the audio format, I now have Dolby Atmos available. Now, if we go over to Aquaman, you can see that Dolby Atmos is supported. So now, even though my display does not support Dolby Atmos or even have audio, you can see that once I hit the info button on the Marantz, you can see that it does support Dolby Atmos at 48K. If we check the Marantz's app, you can see that all 9.1 channels are active. Another thing the 939 will do is downmix Dolby Atmos all the way down to two channel audio. So if you wanted to listen to Dolby Atmos music using the Apple TV and you only had stereo, you can hook up a pair of RCA jacks to the back of the 939 into the back of your AVR processor or a pair of powered speakers. So when switching over to the two channel auxiliary input, you can see that we have two channels coming into it and also two channels going out. So it's taking the Dolby Atmos stream and down mixing it to two channel audio. Keep in mind that you will have to configure the dip switches for your correct configuration. All the configurations can be found on the bottom of the 939. This is just a couple ways to extract the audio from an HDMI stream. You can also use the optical and coax outputs. Now it's not HDMI 2.1 compatible, so using AK sources won't work. But if you're a gamer, it is FreeSync capable. However, it's not compatible if you're downscaling the video input. At the time of this video, the O-Ray HDA 939 is selling for $200.
It's a very capable audio video processor for not a ton of money. So if you have an older display, but a capable soundbar or home theater setup that you've been dying to try out the latest formats, then this is a super easy user-friendly solution that should keep you from having to spend a ton of money on an upgraded display. It'll also downmix audio from your TV's EARC output to your receiver's ARC input, so you don't need to upgrade to an EARC-compatible AVR or processor. If you'd like to pick up an O-Ray HD-939, I'll leave some links for it down below in the video's description. As always guys, thanks for watching. If you need more information, visit audioholics.com. And if you'd like exclusive content or direct communication with us, then consider becoming a Patreon member. Like, share, and subscribe. And remember, keep listening.